Okay, I got a brawn shop light, trouble light. Don't have the exact uh, part number, but I might be able to figure that out later. Uh, it's got a couple hooks on it to hang it while you're working on, and it has a pass through AC. And 20 LED cobs. Okay. And a six foot cord. So this about six watts. Point six one power factor and amps is eighty eighty milliamps. Okay. Don't know the lumens on it, but figure that out later. Okay, and let's rip it apart. Okay, so six similar screws, one longer one for whatever reason in the middle. Up to the side. Okay. This should just pop in half. Right. Nothing really holding it together from the other side. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that thing is just hooked under there. That is an odd way of doing that. Well, am I going to be able to do anything with this? This is all potted, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. It's... Okay. So, got a switch, driver, the AC pass through. Nothing special there. Okay. And the LEDs. This is fake chromed plastic. Kind of crushed there. Hmm. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there are four in series. One, two, three, four, five. Five in parallel. All right. So I thought that was potted. It is not. Here's a fourth type of screw. And case off. Okay, it's a simple two in, two out case. All right. There. <laughs> Try to hold this up out of the way. All right, back with the diagram. We have line neutral, a varistor, fusible resistor, which was brown, black, black, gold, black, 10 ohm. A bridge rectifier, smoothing capacitor, and then we move into the driver. All right, so this chip, I could not find the uh, that number anywhere. Uh, it might be just a manufacturing number. Uh, this is controlling uh, a pulse width to one side of a transformer. Uh, 
it has a ground, it has most likely operating power. Uh, there's a large voltage drop. At this point, it has 16.3 volts DC, so that's likely the uh, operating voltage or around that, unless it's used for something else. Uh, it has an adjustable resistor for determining what it's doing. Uh, and then we have an output, obviously, to the transformer. Uh, these other two pins aren't used. And then there's some other unused uh, components, a diode, a resistor, and a capacitor, not connected. Probably could have been for a different type of chip under some other different work. Uh, uh, so on the other side of the transformer, I have a diode, smoothing capacitor, resistor, and then all the LEDs, uh, four in series, five in parallel. Uh, with these are going at 11.8 volts DC. There isn't a feedback coil in this transformer uh, coming back to here at all. Um, so as far as I can tell, there's no feedback, but maybe there's something special about this where it can, it's determining something based on the primary coil, perhaps. But I don't have any way of looking at that and finding that out. Okay, so the, let me drag this over here real quick. All right, so the other thing I noticed when I was taking it apart is that this is a PCB, it's not aluminum. Uh, so it's made back in 2016. Uh, it really wasn't giving off a lot of heat when I had it on. Okay, all the parts will be down in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.